Alright. I am back. We are about to do a new game, finally. I had to take a break for quite a while because all the children's were here, and I really couldn't get a moment of peace with all them here. So, now that they are gone, I can play this game. Which is, if you haven't already figured it out, if you've played it before, you'd recognize this intro. It is Domo-kun's Angry Smash Fest. And actually, I don't know why I built up to that, because it will be in the title of the YouTube video once I upload it, so there was no suspense involved. I don't know. I guess I did not plan that one out very well. So anyway, we can watch this thing rise for about a year. I can skip it with the A button, but it's very epic. So, we will just let it keep, keep, keep going. Um, this is a game that is, as you could tell from the intro, on Newgrounds and iMockery. Um, I found it pretty hilarious when I first played it, so that's why I'm doing a play through of it right now. Also, I don't think mo many LPs do Flash games, so I decided to do a Flash game again. One that's more exciting than walking in circles. And there will be others that follow this. So, here we go. It's a normal afternoon in Domokun's room when all of a sudden... Good morning, Domokun! Rawr! Oh, why so glum, Chan? Isn't, it isn't because we got any trouble, is it? Better you than us, probably. You got nice cute girls, whereas you will always be a reads up. Poor pitiful Domokun. Oh well, we're off to go play in some open manholes. Bye bye That was a pretty random story. So, yeah, we are Domokun, and we have a stick. That's the only weapon you have, is a stick. And you use it to defeat the Powerpuff Girls. Okay, this first stage turns a lot of people off, because it's very repetitive and kind of challenging. But it's really not that bad if you know what you're doing. You just gotta run up and smack them, and you can use these traffic cones and stuff. Oh, God damn it. I wanted to get a perfect, but I already screwed it up. You know, you can use these traffic cones and arrow boxes and thinguses to hit them. And then the balloon fighter guy comes and drops stuff. So it's really not that hard. I've gotten perfect on it plenty of times before. But no, this is not the whole game. And th that, this is why most people get turned off. Because they think that this is going to be the whole game. Why am I sucking so much? I think that this is going to be the whole game, and it's not. It ends very soon, and it gets much better. Wow. What the? Where's Eddie there? And, uh. It gets much more entertaining soon. Like right now. He just sort of flies away. This violence. Okay, I don't really know what game this is from. I know that was the dude from Rocket Knight Adventures, which I've never played, but I do sort of know what it is. Maybe this is the same game? I don't know. You can never really tell with these kinds of games. It could be a crossover. And now here's the giant dragon. I also assume it's from Rocket Knight Adventures. But it reminds me of Sarah from my third grade, and it has sort of the same pattern. This guy's not so hard to beat. He's gotta do a hard thing. It's still magical. 
Okay. This is a tank in Armada. Armada, whatever it is. Mr. Armada. Which is more secure to stop your eyes assistance. Oh, no, no, oh man, I wanted this right here. Screwed that part up. Wait, I just got hit, I didn't even see that. Come on. I'm trying to do E damage to him off. Bubbles already died somehow. But because when there's only one left and it speeds up and it's really hard to hit, so I tried to leave that in there. Oh. Now break the car. I'm going to assume that this is from Street Fighter, but I really don't know. I've never actually played that game. Break the car. I think I've seen this in an arcade somewhere. Someone will have to tell me in the comment box. Okay, it is good. My arm hurts because of the weird way that I'm laying. So I'm moving around a bit.